Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be making a resin pyramid and we are going to be using some ashes. Um, so I just wanted to put that trigger warning on the front of this video. In case you don't want to watch this, then you can just skip this video. I did go ahead and mix up my resin off camera just to save time. I'm using the Liquid Diamonds resin today. If you want to see how I mix my Liquid Diamonds, I will link one of my mixing tutorials down below in the description box. Um, it's a quick one minute video, so if you want to see that, definitely check that video out. So I just poured in two ounces of light blue tinted resin into my pyramid mold here and I was pouring it onto my stir stick to kind of try to break the surface tension so I didn't get a ton of bubbles and now I'm going in with a toothpick and I'm very carefully dislodging the bubble that I had stuck in the tip of the pyramid and when I do this I'm just going along the four corners of where the edges of the pyramid are so I can dislodge the bubbles and I'm not going to damage my pyramid at all or the mold at all. And I did have a little like black thing floating in there. I'm not sure what that was, but I scooped it out with my stir stick, sprayed it with a squirt of 91% isopropyl alcohol in my spray bottle. And now I'm going to drop down my dried rose. I did attach some floral wire to the stem of the rose and I just wrapped that around the paintbrush. I used a paintbrush to go across the top of this mold. It was really the only long thing I had. Um, to use going across the top of the mold so I could get that rose in there and let it cure overnight. And to dry my rose, I hung it upside down for two weeks and let it completely dry. You cannot use fresh flowers in resin. They have to be dried um, either by air or you could dry them in silica gel. And I have a video showing how to dry flowers in silica gel. If you want to see that, I'll link it down below as well. So this is the next day. I'm going in with four ounces today of light blue tinted resin. And I was trying to pour this on the flower. You could see when I started pouring it on the side, I got a lot of air bubbles. So I was just going to pour it on the bottom of the flower and that really helped eliminate bubbles. Um, just bubbles forming from when you poured the resin. If you do get bubbles, no worries. With the liquid diamonds, it's really easy to pop them. Um, you could see I let it sit for 10 minutes and the bubbles all kind of went towards the center where the rose was. I sprayed it with a little 91% isopropyl alcohol to pop those bubbles. You could also use your heat gun if you wanted to. Either one works great. Let it cure overnight. This is the next day. Going in with my nippers, nipping off the stem of that rose. You can get these off Amazon. They work great. And here are my ashes. Um, these are ashes from my stepdad. And I'm making this memorial piece for my mom. So I'm just going in with about eight scoops. And in this little cup, I only had, I want to say about a quarter ounce of resin. Not much at all. I just wanted a tiny bit in there so the ashes would be really thick. And when you mix ashes in resin, they turn kind of like a sandy color. You can see here. Um, I'm just going to mix it in really well, make sure the resin is all throughout those ashes. Um, and it was starting to leak air. So what I'm going to do is just mix this and let it sit for 10 minutes. So any air bubbles can rise up to the top and I could pop those really easily with my heat gun before I pour these into my mold. So this is day number three, layer number three on this pyramid. You could see right there I had a little air bubble. I just kind of popped it with my stir stick. But I'm going to set this aside, let it sit for 10 minutes, and then hit it with my heat gun to pop any bubbles. Here we are 10 minutes later. I'm just going to add the ashes down on top of that um, second layer that we did. And I'm just kind of doing a freestyle pour with this. I did not want to pour just an entire layer of ashes because I'm at, I am going to be adding some glitter um, and I wanted you to be able to see the glitter kind of underneath the ashes. You could 100% completely pour a layer of ashes if you wanted to um, but that was not the look I wanted to go for and you'll see that at the end of the video when I show you how the pyramid turned out. So I'm just going to keep adding these ashes down. My plan that I was planning to do was to let these ashes cure and then do a fourth layer 
with my glitter but when I was applying these I could tell that they were heavy um, it is really like a sand texture so I decided to just go in and do the glitter right on top while the ashes were still wet because I knew that they were not gonna move um, I could tell they were really heavy so I'm going in with one ounce of some purple glitter my mom's favorite color is purple and I'm pouring that right on top of the ashes I did let the ashes sit for about 10 minutes because I was kind of going back and forth um, if I wanted to do this in a separate layer or just pour it right on top of the ashes and it ended up working out great so you could see the ashes did spread out a little bit um, right before I poured that glitter down they kind of leveled out a little bit and spread out so keep that in mind your ashes are going to level out and spread a little bit when you apply them down I let that purple glitter cure that was just one ounce and this is the next day I'm going to fill up the mold or add six ounces of blue so I had six ounces of clear I added a few drops of blue alcohol ink to build up the color of this glitter this glitter is blueberry sparkle it's one of my favorites from Laura's art corner I'll link it down below along with my coupon code I added about five dashes and I'm just mixing that in really well with the liquid diamonds and this glitter is a fine glitter um, so you do have to stir it quite a bit when you use a fine glitter in liquid diamonds resin So just keep that in mind I did stir this for about three minutes and then I'm just gonna pour that right on top of the purple and Let it cure overnight. I did not want to fill this mold up all the way. I was only doing kind of like a mini pyramid um, This pyramid mold you can get it from let's resin. I will link it down below along with my coupon code you do not have to fill these up all the way. You can make mini pyramids and they turn out beautifully. I went with a toothpick around the perimeter of the mold to dislodge any bubbles. And I did forget to record the demolding of this, but here's how it turned out. And I almost didn't post this video because you can see I had some air bubbles form in the center of the rose. I do still think this turned out really pretty, um, but I wanted to share kind of what not to do with the roses. So when you guys use dried roses, what I would do is I would seal them with some resin or UV resin. So you could apply UV resin all over the rose to seal it before you use it in resin. You can see my rose leaked a lot of air. Um, and that was because I didn't seal it enough. I did take that rose and dip it in clear resin, but that was just not enough to seal it. So you would need to do a few layers of dipping your rose in clear resin or UV resin and that would seal it. But let me know what you guys think. And I also wanted to share with you how human ashes do look in resin. If you wanted to make a memorial piece for your loved ones, this is how it, um, it would look and to kind of give you an idea of something you could do with them, a beautiful memorial project. On this one, I really like how you can see that purple underneath the ashes. I think that turned out really cool and I really like the blue layer of glitter too. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, leave me a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll link all the materials I used down in the description box. I'll see you soon for another video. Bye guys.